With the advent of the youth bug, bug the Arab Spring led to the following mass protest movement, bullet, Occupy Wall Street in New York, bullet, Gezi Park protest in Turkey, bullet, Sunshine protest in Taiwan, bullet, Occupy Central in Hong Kong. But despite the publicity in the ultimate analysis, technology is a neutral, is a neutral variable. It has its strength and its weaknesses. Twitter and Facebook are effective only to a certain degree. Many technological filters and firewalls have been created in sophisticated countries, such as China, Russia, and Iran. The Facebook and Twitter accounts of protesters have been infiltrated by pro-government spies and hackers. Politicians in power, notably in the Philippines, set up a myriad of fictitious accounts so that they can manipulate campaigns of disinformation. One drawback of new media activism is that it might be strong on rapid mobilization, but it is weak in long-term strategic thinking, collective organization, and issue-specific sustained advocacy. It has often failed to produce results. For example, allow me to raise the question, what does the Million People March in Rudetta achieve with respect to government reforms? Before the 1992 presidential elections, I organized and registered the People's Reform Party in hopes that it would become a genuine agent of change in Philippine politics. In the 2016 presidential elections, when I'm rid of my lung cancer, I intend to claim the presidency. I will. Defined vision and policy agenda, internal exercise of democracy, and a mass cross sectoral base. Remember, Twitter and Facebook have uses, but they are not substitutes for organization and discipline in campus politics across the electoral cycle. The United Nations Development Program advocates inclusion of youth in formal politics in order to overcome authoritarian practices and the inclusion of youth in new formal decision making. In fact, should I be elected president, I intend to appoint a cabinet, half of whom shall be from the youth sector, and half of whom shall be nothing less than a force for transformative social change. <laughs> Bullet. The first basic principle is that support for political participation of young people should extend across the electoral cycle, meaning that youth activism in politics should be a continuous effort and should not be limited to the campaign season only. Bullet. The second basic principle is that youth political participation should go beyond token gestures and instead should be meaningful and effective. The nation is about to enter 2015, which is a campaign year. Partido Cruzada can consider the following measures across the electoral cycle. Bullet. Before the electoral period, support volunteer organizations to ensure honest elections. You can do this by bridging the digital divide using mobile phones and radio, as well as by using online platforms for knowledge sharing and networking, such as social media, blogging, and other online tools. Bullet. During the electoral period, support voter education campaigns so that voters will cast their votes for candidates who exhibit outstanding academic and professional excellence, not other skills that are completely irrelevant to good governance. <laughs> In fact, after this forum, I plan to file a bill to include young people on cabinet boards, school station workers, and election observers. Emulate the example of Germany, where the youth organized a parliament watch to compel candidates to debate. In the post electoral period, after the elections, organized national youth councils or a national youth parliament that will channel the work of Congress and the national government. 
this youth parliament would have access to affected departments and to Congress so that it could influence national youth policies. Among my ideas is an internship scheme for students in Congress, which I began during my first term as senator. Youth political activism will be a definite service both to God and our country, which is gripped by so much corruption and poverty that it can reduce you to tears. However, let me use the encouraging words of the poet who wrote, God moves in a mysterious way. His wonders to perform. He plants his footsteps in the sea and rides upon the storm. Deep in unfathomable minds of never failing skill, he treasures up his bright design and works his suffering will. People of Ateneo, pray to our Lord. Lord, reform this country and begin with me. Thank you.